Hey, old friends. I wonder if I actually have any emotes on this. God, I don't have very many. But anyways, um, hi. So, this is kind of a video where I look back at things and just kind of wonder what I'm doing. And honestly, I'll be kind of... I'm gonna be honest here because, well, that's... Oh, I got a f whoa! Found a four-leaf clover. Well, listen, then I guess that makes me lucky, even though I don't really think it does. <laughs> but um, just to give you guys a bit of an idea of what's going on, I figured it would probably be a good time to address the elephant in the room that I've been realizing more than ever as time went on. Um, and I'll be kind of honest. And I'll just say it right now. I really feel like the channel has plateaued more than ever. Um, for those who don't know, it just... For, like, a year ago or so, the channel just kind of stagnated. Quite a lot. Um, and I mean a lot. Really badly. Um, we didn't really grow. We went from really big heights to really sombering lows, and I was not at the best for it. Like, seriously, I just... I did not do well. And I realized pretty early on to this... this... as, uh, this January rolled in that that was pretty much going to be what was gonna happen again. And it basically right on cue, yep. That's pretty much what's happening, is that... Yeah, that's... that's... that's what's happening. Um... YouTube... You know, it's it's not their fault, it's more my fault there, in that I feel like I've done a lot of damage to my channel by, like, constantly changing people, alienating fans, and just making them not feel welcome in a lot of ways. Um, not so much the asshole trolls, but, you know, like, I feel like I haven't done a good job at connecting with my fans, or trying to expand at all. You know, nowadays more than ever, back when I started Let's Playing, um... General growth came from just Let's Playing. Just from playing the game, having fun, and doing that. But, now more than ever, now that there's, you know, a lot of people playing, a lot of people doing things, there's, you know, a lot of people who... are watching just them, watching just that, doing, basically... Just what you wait, do you? Okay, basically, just oh god, there's that duck. I think we have a new villager actually today, so I'll, while I'm talking about this, I'll go check and see what it is because I don't remember this house being here. Um, basically, now more than ever, it's all about hot knives, and no, I'm kidding, but um. Edited content and things like that. People who can make good things and share and make connections with other bigger YouTubers. And I'll be kind of honest, I've never really been in that situation. This channel has been, at least I like to think, mostly homegrown in a sense. And apparently we have Tom, I think this is. Yeah, it's Tom. Oh. Did I already talk to you? Anyways, uh, that's kind of cool. I... I think when I talked to him a while ago, he actually, now that I think about it, yeah, I did talk to him. He mentioned Columbia. I don't know if anyone had a town named Columbia, but I'm pretty sure I got that cat from someone. Um, but the simple fact here is, unless I change my content to try and, like, grow, which... You know, I do want to grow because, well, it's YouTube. You know, unless I play the latest games or do the latest things or, you know, try to catch up on the latest trends, chances are I'm not going to grow. And that's the sad fact of YouTube nowadays is that due to the vast amount of Let's Players playing games, like, you don't really get that growth that you used to because, well, there's a lot more people out there. And... I kind of just, I, I, I hate to say it, but it really breaks my heart that it feels like we're going back into what we were doing before, where I just, where things just aren't, wait, what the hell? Where did all these come from? Anyways. 
Um, but, oh god, did I just throw a bunch of crap on the ground? Who put the gyroids here? But, um, what was I talking about? But, like, YouTube as a whole, I feel, just, <laughs> I'm just not sure what I can do to change my, you know, like, unless I really want to grow and I change my content completely to something different. Granted, um, Yokai Watch showed me that even though we do have a different, you know, you know, concept and different ways of doing it, we can still grow pretty well. It's just, um, I just, I'm honestly at a loss when it comes down to a lot of it because I'm not really sure what I can do to change and what I can do. Like, if I put a lot of work into my content, sure. Like, you know, I could probably spend hours editing something really, really crazy. But I'm really kind of honestly very scared of posting something like that because, and I'll be honest, I don't know if it'll get any attention. Like, I could try to be the, you know, the personality that I wanted to, but I don't feel like it's going to attract anything. I don't feel like it's going to do much. The motivation is the biggest key for me when it comes to creating content because... Well, content like that, I mean, it doesn't stop me from doing Let's Plays, because Let's Plays are just me playing games, you know, having fun, but, um, but it's always something that's just, <laughs> it, it, it's worrisome for me. I feel like at points that if I were to put my heart and soul into the content and, you know, nothing changed and I didn't, wait, why is there a train here, but, um, if I put a lot of work into that content and nothing happened, I don't know, like, no one watched it, I would just, I'd, I'd honestly have the biggest, you know, like, I'd just feel like I would be a big failure. And that's one of the bigger problems there, is that, I mean, I have an audience now, and I don't know why. I, I feel like I've failed you guys on so many counts when it comes down to it, and I... Don't know why you're even here. Um, in a lot of ways, I don't mean that in a mean way. I'm just saying. I'm honestly, I don't know why you guys hang around with us. Um, even more, it feels like I've damaged a lot of it because you know I whined a lot and I kind of really, really screwed up a lot of things when it came down to it because I feel like I was overly harsh and just. Mostly towards myself and YouTube, um, where I, I set my standards way too high, and I feel like because of it, it damaged a lot of it, and a lot of the viewers that used to be here who used to enjoy my content are probably gone. But, you know, that's just, that's concerning, and sadly, that's just how it goes with a lot of this. Like, do I think it'll ever change? Probably not. I don't think I'll ever really get to that point again where... I, it's, it's always weird when I say that. Like, I always say, well, I don't think I'll ever have the boom that I did there, or... You know, unless I really try... Unless there's, of course, a uh, change in dynamic. I don't really feel like this channel's gonna experience growth, because... Well, let's just be honest. I... Don't think the content here is that great either, but, you know, people say we're funny, so I just kind of go with it. And the simple question I have is, did I do something wrong? Like, it, it, if I changed my content, would things go better? Would, if I stopped complaining? Probably, yeah, obviously. But, um... I don't remember having any of this. Do I have enough room for all of it? I do. Okay. But, um, like, just, it's a constant question for my, me, myself, is that, like, wh what if anything could be changed? What if anything can be done about this situation? And the simple answer is, I don't think there's anything we can change. I don't think there's anything we can do. I just... When you're a YouTuber now more than ever, as you are 
as you grow up in the ranks and you get up there. Um, God, I don't know what's going on with my throat, but uh, basically, as you get larger, you start to realize that you there's always the worry, and this is just something that I feel like a lot of people kind of have when it comes down to YouTube, and I know probably some of you are like, this never happens to me, but understand it when I say this like this. Um, there's always the concern that you've plateaued, the worry that you, you're you never going get, to get to that next point, that worry that you're never going to grow, you know, that worry that you, <clears throat> there's a psychological factor as well, you know, where it's just like, oh, I have so many subscribers, and yet I barely get this many views on this video. What the hell did I do wrong? What did it, what is going wrong here? What what happened here? And you know that's a le that's that's something people deal with. You know, there's I I deal with that. Like I I I I've dealt with it for a long time, and it's just kind of it's always a concern where you're just like, oh hey, this is something I feel I've done really well, but you know, it doesn't do well. Why is that? And it's just because, well, I mean, some people plateau. That's just what what's going to happen. Some YouTube channels just kind of fall into that, where even though I feel they're doing great content, they just, their content isn't mainstream or isn't, you know, big enough for something or their personality doesn't shine through enough. And because of it, they lack the interaction or... <clears throat> They don't have friends who are higher, you know, subscriber counts and has a bigger fan base that they can, you know, socialize with and connect with. And that's the simple fact here is, well, my channel is one of those things where, um, even though I feel that things are, you know, for the longest time during that, uh, summer thing where it just kept going and going and going, um, it actually started before summer, like several months before then, so it was more like six months of really good times where things were just, like, bang, 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 everything was going really well. I don't know why I just went up there, I'm trying to go to the shop, um, and, you know, I was like, oh man, this is, you know, this maybe this time, maybe this time, I haven't plateaued, maybe this time I found people who, you know, you know, or at least viewers who are like, hey, this guy's pretty cool, check him out. But, I don't remember having Blair at all. Oh god, she says nutlet. Um, but like, it's like, oh man, this is going really well, everyone's happy, everyone's excited for this content. And, you know, that's... That's something that happens, like, it's always like, oh hey, you're doing really well here, good job! And then, when... And just like a lot of other YouTubers when it comes down to it, where you're just like, Man, this is awesome. I'm doing really well. People are excited for the content I'm doing. And, you know, people are really enjoying it. And there's nothing here I really want. I don't even want the rugs. <laughs> but, like, everyone's excited for the content. Everyone wants to be a part of it. Everyone's having fun. And then, um... It just kind of stops. And... Be it my fault or not, I I more feel like it's my fault. Um, the simple thing is, I don't see much change. I don't think there is going to be much change. I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to turn it around for this channel. Because, let's face it, <laughs> I feel like this channel has plateaued. And it's never going to get further from that. And, you know, I'm kind of okay with it. I like creating content that I'm doing right now. And I will continue to try and do that. And I will continue to try to do patrons. But I don't know if I can face um, trying to create really, really, you know, edited content and doing all that. I mean, I'll try. I'll try my hardest. But... I just don't feel like I have the connections, I don't feel like, um, if I put my voice out there, I don't know if there will be anyone to listen. And that's my biggest concern when it comes down to it. Not that, you know, not within the realm of my fan base, but like, 
You know, to get my get out there to really grow on YouTube, you need to be able to do it outside of your fan base. And I just don't feel like if I do that, content will get out there. I don't feel like I'm good enough for that. I'm not. I don't think I am. But at least they still have you guys when it comes down to it. Um, and as much as I hate to say it, um, you know, it it's always a it's always a really daunting task for me because I try to mix make a mixture of things people will enjoy with my own enjoyment. And, you know, I've been having a lot of fun with Triforce Heroes and doing all that, but since it's not new, it just kind of stopped growth altogether. Not only that, but I'm pretty sure, um, by the sixth episode, people are probably growing tired of it. <laughs> this is just kind of how it goes with Let's Plays. Like, by the s after, like, the first three episodes, people were like, I don't know if I like this much anymore, and they kind of click off, but that's just kind of how you Let's Plays are, um... But for a while now, for a while, I I realized that um, not much will change, and I I'll be kind of honest. It breaks my heart in a lot of ways because I don't want to plateau. I don't wanna. I want to keep going creatively. I want to see if I can make something great. And, you know, maybe I will. Maybe in a month or so I'll be like, man, I'm really glad I did those creative changes or I did those things that I really wanted to. But maybe I won't. Maybe I'll still be here where I was before, you know, not happy with what I'm doing, but content. You know, just kind of here in a, in a situation where you wake up. It's kind of like you wake up every day and you're like, oh, man. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's okay. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. It's not the most amazing experience, but you wake up and you do it every day, and you know, you make a living off of it. You do that. That's kind of what my life is right now, and that's kind of what my YouTube is. And, um, I have you guys to thank for that, because, you know, a lot of you have been with me for a long time. And I hope you'll continue to stay by me, even if I do plateau and this channel doesn't go anywhere. Which... Is always a concern of mine, because I want to grow. I want to be able to reach more people and make more people happy and create more videos, you know, of us having fun. Connecting with you guys and having fun, even if I feel like I've made personal failings over the past few years. I uh, made a lot of mistakes and didn't do what needed to be done, but maybe someday in the future I'll look back at this and be like, ah, you're just being weird. You're just being weird, sages. But for now, I will, you know, always, always be here. And I hope the future changes. And I hope that I can make that content that I want to. Because. God damn it, I think I can. I just hope. <laughs> above all else, that it can be entertaining. More than anything else. And that's what I aim to do. So. Yeah. That's about it for me, guys. Um. I'll see y'all very soon.